Hi, welcome to the C Sharp programming tutorial. On the last tutorial, we looked at passing arguments to methods, and what we've done was we passed an integer um, to a method. That's a method here in the first class, and within the brackets of the method, we put int for integer to create an integer and we gave it a name to access it, number and within the method number was accessed by a new integer we created int nums equals number plus 12 and then we printed the answer to screen and we accessed the method we created a object and we called it third and third dot the name of the class brackets and inside here at the moment we've got a array because that's what we're going to do in this tutorial but what we had was the name of an integer and we were using nums and we typed nums in but today we're going to pass a, an array object to the method and an array is, is a class an object that's on itself that's why the new keyword's there and so if you can pass an array then you can pass a whole object a whole class to a method and we'll be doing that as well but first we're going to be doing the passing of the array so we've, we've put in the keyword new to create a new object then we put int with the square brackets to indicate it's an integer array and then what we've done is the, we've done the braces and within the braces we give all the elements values of the elements so we've done one two three four make it simple separated by commas and we didn't have to give it a name because we give it a name so we were able to access it with that name but because we're passing an array to an object, or to a method, um, that method doesn't need to be accessed, to use a name to access it. It will access it within its method. So that's a whole method getting passed to this object. Now we could create the array up here and give it a name and we could pass the name in the brackets and that would be passing an array. We'll do that later. So we'll go to the the method. We've passed the integer array, we called it numbers. So we've done the same way again, it's that we created another integer inside the method called num equals numbers, which is this array we've passed. We've, do, we've used a for it and we know there's four elements. So int x equals zero. x is less than four will give us four elements and increment x every time we do a root and what we're going to do is just print out each element x will go 0, 1, 2, 3 and stop and so that will go to screen so if we run the program 1, 2, 3, 4 so we've accessed the array now if we go back to the main program this is us passing the array to the method. So what we could do is we could up here as I said before we could do int square brackets um, just give it a name like passing array and equals the new keyword int square brackets and we'll pass it, this time we'll pass it 4, 5, 6, 7 and then semicolon and so instead of, i just done this so you could, I could show you we could pass a law array into the method and use it that way um, but what you would do is create an array with a name so you can access that name so if I delete that, passing 
Now we've passed the array into the method using the keyword, just what we would do with an integer, a string, an object. And so if we run the program, you can see that it's printed out the array. The array has been passed to the method in the other class. The, the methods processed the array and printed each element onto screen. So that's passing an array object to, to a method. And the next tutorial um, will either be a string or it will be a complete object. So thank you again for your time and I hope that's helped.